Uh, yeah, it's not just snowing here, but uh, it's also National Pollinator Week. And uh, honeybees, as you know, have been struggling of late, and beekeepers have been reporting this spring a 40% loss in the hives that we so desperately need just to put food on the table. The workhorses of pollination, fertilizing flowers and crops, over 30% of the food Americans eat is spawned by honeybees. And recently, the population of these vital pollinators is dropping at an alarming rate. So we went to the only standalone invertebrate zoo in the world to look into it. Why do we think the bee population is in decline? So there are a lot of factors that play into the decline of bees. Lack of habitat, also pesticide use and uh, pathogens. What about climate change? What about a warming world? So that could be a huge impact. Some of it has to do with when plants bloom. So if you're a bee and you come out in April every year expecting to see a certain flower blooming, and now because of the change in climate, it's blooming in March, you've missed your window. And those plants then struggle to bear fruit. All right, let's go check out our chief pollinators. Into the hives I go with zookeeper Sarah Triplett. Wow, look at all those bees. So the first thing they'll do is the young bees can excrete this wax out of um, glands on their abdomen and they'll form it into these cells. And then the bees will leave the hive and go collect nectar from flowers. But those negative factors now disrupting this very necessary pollination process. Well, if you don't mind, the bees are kind of freaking me out. I'm <laughs> going to go check out the butterflies. Okay, that sounds good. These other pollinators facing similar fights. Wow, look at this. This is amazing. Pretty cool, huh? Very cool. How many butterflies do you have flying around in here? That, over a thousand. Over a thousand? From all over the world. And our resident butterfly expert, eight-year-old Zelda Oaks, recognizes the importance of these animals. What would you tell other kids that are are maybe f uh, uh, afraid of bugs or don't like bugs? I would tell them that bugs usually are helpful to people and you can help them help you. She sure is cute and that butterfly pavilion is a cool spot outside of Denver. Things you can do to help out the bee population and butterfly population, plant uh, plants that bloom all summer long and all fall and through spring and that will help the uh, health of the pollinators out there. Not just that, but buy local honey. I've got some local hive honey from Rice's Honey. And they also have some local hive honey from Rice's yes. Honey in New York. I've had some yes. uh, sent in. So the, the honey that you have on set, guys, is from the Northeast. So we're all going to have some local honey this morning. I could use some of my hot tea <laughs> on this first full day of summer. Diane's eating oh, sweet enough for more of it. I As we speak. love honey, yeah. guys. And these, this is really good honey. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.